Good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade and the good news I have for you today. No hurricanes headed towards Houston or the rest of Southeast Texas. We've had enough of that this month. Of course, we were hit by hurricane barrel just last Monday. 80 mile per hour sustained winds, but gusts close to 100 miles per hour at times. So hopefully that will be it for this hurricane season, but we've still got some months to get through. In fact, we've got to go all the way through the end of November before we can give you the all clear. Things are pretty quiet now, but as I've been mentioning, there are certain areas where we typically look to in the month of July for a higher shot of development for some of these tropical depressions, tropical storms and hurricanes. You'll notice this orange area. It's basically the mid Atlantic portion of the US just offshore. That's where we can have a higher potential for maybe some tropical action for the month of July. Also, it is possible we could have tropical development over into parts of the Gulf of Mexico. And we also look towards the Caribbean where there's at least a low shot that we could have a few tropical depressions or tropical storms developing. Overall, the chance for the entire month of July on the lower side, but as we just experienced last Monday, it can definitely happen. Of course, we were hit a direct hit, in fact, by barrel, which rapidly intensified right before landfall near Matagorda, Texas around 3.50 a.m. last Monday, and it brought a lot of widespread damage across the Houston area. I know a lot of you in the Houston area are probably still trying to clean up from the aftermath of barrel. We had several large trees knocked down, uprooted, in fact, my neighbors right across the street had a huge tree fall right onto the roof and it just basically crumbled. So there's been a lot of damage, a lot of traffic lights still out, a lot of debris. So we're trying to get things back on track. A lot of people's mail behind for the last couple of weeks. So there are just a lot of things you don't really think about when you get hit by a hurricane that will definitely be impacted. But slowly but surely, things are getting back on track and hopefully we won't have any more tropical systems heading our way anytime soon. Of course, we did have a direct hit from Barrel. We did get some impacts as well from Alberto, which was a tropical storm that made landfall in Mexico. We didn't get anything from Chris, but the next name on the list would be Debbie. But fortunately, I do not see Debbie forming or developing and heading anywhere near us, at least for the next several days. When we start to get into the more active part of hurricane season, August, September, I do think there will still be a higher chance for tropical systems to develop. We have plenty of warm water in place. Those sea surface temps or water temps in the Gulf, the Western Atlantic, the Northwest Caribbean, super steamy like bath water soaring into the middle to upper 80s for much of the Gulf, Caribbean and Western Atlantic. But here's our saving grace. We do have a lot of thick Saharan dust rolling in. It's already covering much of the Atlantic. It's starting to get thicker across the Caribbean. And I think by Monday and Tuesday of next week, it's really going to start to thicken up in the Gulf of Mexico as well. You can see that dark brown color indicating the moderate to dense Saharan dust. So what does that Saharan dust do? Well, it brings in quite a bit of dry air and that really helps to hinder and stop those tropical systems from developing. They try to get going, but then with this dusty dry air in place, they're really not able to strengthen and hold themselves together. So I think for at least the next week or so, we are going to be okay. We're not looking for any tropical cyclone development across the Atlantic, the Caribbean or the Gulf. So that's good news. I just had a coworker ask me about Cancun saying I'm about to go to Cancun for a week. Will there be any hurricanes or tropical storms? I was like, well, it looks like you'll be lucky. We're not expecting anything in the next week. Although this general area, Mexico, Central America in the Caribbean, Eastern Pacific, quite a few showers and storms in this area, but we're just not expecting anything to head towards Cancun, at least at this point that could maybe interrupt my coworkers vacation plan. So good news there. Although we are monitoring a few areas in the eastern Pacific. Notice those showers and storms to the south of the southern portions of Mexico that could potentially develop into something, but it's not going to head our way. So bottom line, National Hurricane Center saying for the Atlantic, for the Caribbean Sea, for the Gulf of Mexico, no tropical activity expected 
over the next seven days. So that is great news for us. Even as we hop over to the Eastern Pacific, this is getting closer to the Central Pacific now, but Western part to the Eastern Pacific, we've got one little weak system here with a very low 10% chance for development over the next two to seven days. It's basically about to move into some cooler water. Upper level winds are not favorable for development. There's gonna be a lot of wind shear. So this window for this system to even develop into a brief tropical depression quickly closing. So I think we'll be rid of this system pretty quickly. However, we are still monitoring one more system in the Eastern Pacific, this one, Closer to Mexico, it is kind of meandering south of the southern part of Mexico, and it's not really going to do anything over the next few days, but over the next week or so, there will be a low 20% chance for development as it tracks to the west northwest. So generally, it will be pushing away from Central America and away from Mexico, but we will watch it. There could be a brief tropical depression or storm in the East Pacific, but it's not heading our way. So fortunately, once again today, just like I said yesterday, things are quiet, but we still are concerned because all of the forecasts indicate a very busy, very unsettled, very active hurricane season. Of course, we did get hit by Hurricane Barrel, but that was in the part of the hurricane season that's typically not even that busy. That's June and July. Really, it's mid to late August, September, October, when we really start to ramp things up and see these systems forming. That is when that Saharan dust will start to kind of clear out, and then we're gonna be left with a ton of warm water out there in the Atlantic Basin, and we're also gonna be shifting from an El Nino pattern to a La Nina pattern, which typically means more tropical systems. So we're gonna to have to watch it closely, but let's just enjoy this next week where we don't have to worry about any tropical storms or hurricanes heading our way.